Hey, it's Bjorn from WP Learning Lab. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you three different ways to remove the sidebar from your WordPress blog. Now, as with almost anything in WordPress, there's many ways to do the same thing. And oftentimes how you do it depends on what theme you're using or plugins you're using. So I'm gonna show you three different ways in three different themes. And hopefully one of those is either exactly what you need or it's close enough to what you need that you can figure out what you need. And if you can't figure it out, just leave me a comment in the comments below and I'll see if I can help you out. Um, so let's get started. So right now we're running the 2017 theme, this was, which is the WordPress created theme. And if we look at a post page, so the default hello world page here, and we have this sidebar on the right. And quite often people wanna get rid of that. And there's really no simple way. Like if you go to appearance and you go to widgets, that's usually where you customize your sidebar. So you can go in here, you can add and remove things if you remove all of these items in the sidebar, it doesn't, it, it gets rid of the content there, but it doesn't actually make your post full width. And so that's kind of a, a halfway done solution. The best solution for a theme like 2017 is check out the customizer. Possibly in here, there's a way to turn off the sidebar. There's a sidebar section under widgets and it allows you to add widgets down here or reorder them, but you can't actually remove the sidebar itself. So the customizer is not gonna work in this case. For your theme, it might. So check out the customizer. If that doesn't work, go into the editor and we have to comment out some code and we're gonna open the single.php file. Let's click on that item on the right hand side. The single.php is the template that's used to create your posts as opposed to page.php, this one here, that's used to create your pages. So in single.php, that's where the sidebars usually occur because they're on posts. And usually near the bottom, we have a function that looks a lot like this. PHP opening tag, get sidebar, the function get sidebar, and the PHP closing tag. Now you gotta delete this completely just by deleting it. I don't recommend you do it that way because one day you might wanna come back and have that sidebar back but you don't quite know how. So I recommend you leave that there and just add two forward slashes before the get sidebar function. Now if we update this file, and once done updating, we go back to the site and we refresh this page, our sidebar is gone. And even though it's gone, it's still taking up that space. So our content is not going to the full width. There are some themes when you take out the sidebar, your content will autom automatically flow to full width. There's others like this where it doesn't. So if we inspect this area, just by right clicking on it, choosing the inspector, I'm using Google Chrome, Firefox is a similar function. Those are only two browsers I recommend using. And if we look at, let's see, here we have the wrap tag, which looks like it's full width. The blue area is where the content would be. The green is padding, the orange is margin. So the blue is where the content is and it looks like it's full width. That would be the content plus the sidebar. So if we go one down, we see primary, the blue area is just wrapping the content. So if we click on there, on the right hand side, it's gonna load some styles. And what we see is the width is being limited to 58%. Now if we change this to 100%, we now take up the full width. My content isn't actually long enough, this sentence isn't long enough to show you how far it goes, but the edit button and this horizontal rule, that's how far the content would go. So that's full width. So what we have to do now is try to find that function or that uh, CSS rule inside the style sheet so we can move this thing to 100%. If we go back to our theme or the theme editor and we click on styles.css to open the style sheet. I'm just gonna copy the ID of primary and search for it. And here's primary, there's a whole bunch of primaries. Actually better yet, I'm gonna search for 58%. And there's our 58%. Has sidebar, not 404, primary, 58%. If we change this, I'm gonna comment out that CSS actually. Cause that's the original, I don't wanna change the original. It's gonna make a new one, make it width of 100. Update this file and then go back to our post page, refresh this page, and now our content is full width. An important thing to remember, if, if you do this kind of thing where you edit the style sheet and you edit the, 
the functions or sorry, the single.php file. If you're doing it in the parent theme itself, if there's a theme update, those changes could be overwritten. So what you'll want to do is create a child theme and make these changes in the child theme. Then if the parent theme is updated, all the changes you make in the, in the child theme are still applied. They may have to be adjusted depending on what was updated in the parent theme, but all your styles still exist, all your function changes still exist, all your template pages still exist. So I recommend you make a child theme. I put a link in the description that'll show you how to create a child theme, and then you make your changes in that child theme. So now we've covered the hard way of doing this. We're gonna actually now do some easy ways of getting rid of the sidebar. So I have the Aveda theme here. I'm gonna activate that. I'm gonna do Divi theme right after the Aveda theme. And if we go to uh, our posts, actually I'm gonna refresh this post to see what changed. So as we can see, we have the Aveda theme now. Our content is here. We have a sidebar here that we don't want. How do we get rid of it? Doing it the same way we just did in 2017 theme is hard because Aveda has a lot more going on in all its template files and they actually don't have a get underscore sidebar function. So it's a lot harder to find. So the easiest way to do it is to go into your posts and you scroll down and Divi uses, or sorry, Aveda uses a fusion editor is what they call it. It's made there in house and they have a sidebars tab and you can choose your sidebar. You can also choose no sidebar. And if we choose no sidebar, we click on update, and then we refresh this page, we see our sidebar is gone, and our content is now full width, which is exactly what we want. And you might have also seen down below, you can actually change the sidebar position. So let's say you wanted the sidebar, but you want it on the left side. Click on update, and then refresh this page once it's updated, and now we have the sidebar on the left, which is pretty cool. So you can move your sidebar around easily. You have to do this on a post by post basis. So it's, it's not something you, you do uh, universally for your site, but when you're creating a post, you can just choose your sidebar options and it's really no problem. So that's how you do it in the Aveda theme. Let's activate the Divi theme and then see how it works in there. So we have Divi activated. If we refresh this blog post page, we'll see we have our blog post and we have our sidebar. Go to the editor for that post. Divi has it a little differently. In the top right, there's a post settings box. In there is a page layout option. And you can also choose left or full width and right, which is currently on. So if you choose full width, it's gonna take out the sidebar and then we have our content being full width. And again, we don't really see it that way because the sentence is too short, but the content does go full width. And another thing that Divi does is you can actually add a sidebar right into this area. So if we insert new columns, I'm just gonna copy this text right here. Make my life easier. And put the sidebar back in. And I've got a sidebar left and hopefully a sidebar on the right in the content. And let's refresh this page once it's saved. And there we have sidebar, main sidebar left content and a secondary sidebar on the right. Now, if you were going to apply some CSS, you could make this look just like the one on the left hand side and you can have two sidebars or you just get rid of this, change this back to full width, change this back to full width as well, update. And then you have no sidebars once this saves. And there you have no sidebars. So that is how you get rid of sidebars in WordPress. Hopefully one of these situations covered your needs. Again, if they didn't, leave a comment below. I'll try to help you out. And I hope this video helps you. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab. Please make sure you like this video, share on social media, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and check out wplearninglab.com for more WordPress tutorials like this every single day. Talk to you soon.